What's going on, everybody? It is Friday, the 15th of April. Good Friday. Markets, stock markets, that is, are closed today for Good Friday. Crypto markets, as always, trading around the clock. We're looking at Moon River slash Tether. It's a daily chart. We're on Trading View. And this chart is from Gate.io. Gate.io up here in the left hand side of the screen. You can see that. Looks like we are trading at 57.28 up. Uh, looks like about a quarter percent today. So I have actually not looked at this project before today and pretty crazy price action from down here at 10 bucks all the way up to a candle wick at five, looks like 582. Now, if that's accurate, that is quite insane. And I would assume it is accurate. I'll look, look all the way up here to 493, crazy, crazy price, crazy price action in this chart. Anyways, so we're obviously in a pretty extreme downtrend here. So when this project looks like this project kicked off in August of 21, had a massive, massive rally to the upside. And then we started to get these choppy whipsaw sideways action, printed a lower high up in here. And that was the party was over right there. Headed down, lower low, sideways, lower high, lower low, lower high. And then we're kind of chopping around here. Let me zoom into some more recent times. So there's a couple things I see here on the chart. One, it kind of looks like a rough inverse head and shoulders here starting to take place and looks like we're potentially working on that right shoulder up in here and perhaps like a neckline kind of in here that's a little rough but you could kind of see that inverse head and shoulders and the way the inverse head and shoulders or a regular head and shoulders works is a break of the neckline would be an entry so you would get a break above the neckline for an entry which looks like it would be in this $90 range so that's kind of a rough uh, a rough view there on what I see with that um, also it looks like we are potentially in some kind of a rounding bottom here which would also correlate with that inverse head and shoulders. So you can see we have this lower low, lower high, lower low. Came up here, printed another lower high, but then it got interesting. We pulled back, printed a higher low. So it looks like the trend is starting to change to the upside in a quiet fashion. And then once we printed that higher low, headed up, higher high definitely would have been getting quite bullish on this thing right in this $72 range but it looks like we have ran into some trouble here with moon river so moon river has basically undercut this low or trading right at it so this is a little bit of a concern Anyways, if I was bullish on this in the $70 range, I would have already um, been stopped out before it got down to this $57 range. But the key is when you get the higher lows and higher highs, when it starts to reverse back to the downside, you don't want to see the lower low, the higher lows getting undercut, which it which we have done here. So that is not good. So that basically cancels out that reverse in trend to the upside because we undercut this low right here so if this low pulled back a little higher then it would continue higher and that would be a different story but not what happened so anyways so we'll see what happens here we'll see if this is a pause and then we get another break to the downside and we continue in a downtrend or does this thing start to complete that right shoulder in the inverse head and shoulders and we start to stair step back up 
perhaps creating a lower high and then we get that pullback to that higher low and then we start to get into some nice higher highs from here on we will have to be patient here and see what happens but it even though that this low was undercut and in the short term the new uptrend has been basically paused i still think a little bit more of a step back and if you look at this from the inverse head and shoulders that we could still be potentially putting in a basically a rounding bottom pattern here so even though this was undercut i still think we could be working our way up to this right shoulder and then basically you'll have a neckline in here with a nice entry up in here in the 90s now of course you could do some bottom fishing down here in the 50s but the problem with that is you just don't know if it's going to continue lower from here so as always like to buy strength not weakness looking for that basically it's more than likely it'll be a lower high but if we do break above that 90 looks like 95 or so level that would be a higher high that would be quite bullish but basically you'll get a swing up print a higher low and then another swing higher and that's usually a pretty strong leg to the upside so we're definitely in a little bit of a bearish territory right now to a neutral flat territory pretty much not too much going on would like to see some more strength come into this before i would personally look to be getting into this project which i am not but just taking a look at it for some viewers on youtube here so but i mean everyone has a different way to look at it so if you like to buy the dip we'll say then you know here you go here's your chance if you didn't get in down here in the 40s then you have a chance here to get in in the 50s but you just don't know if this is going to continue lower so we would like to see some strength come into the market before a position would be established so that is my kind of my take on moon river here um i mean you could argue the fact that why wouldn't you buy at 57 when we used to be trading up here in the multi hundred dollar range okay but like i said you could still trend lower remember the all-time lows over here were at 10 bucks so who knows where we bought them maybe we bought them down here in the 40s it's just it's that's the problem with buying weakness you just don't know how low it can go it's also the same thing with trying to short tops you just don't know how high it can go either you want to see a little bit more of some confirmation before um, getting into a long position at least that's what we would do so i mean you could have said that over in here it's like when the price was pulling back to this area this 226 and you're trying to buy the dip saying that oh well we used to be up in here at you know 400 well the dip at uh what was that yeah 220 well look where we're at now we're at 50. so and this whole time there was really no strength coming into the market and there was definitely no higher lows higher highs so just a little example about getting into some trouble buying weakness and if you're going to buy weakness potentially you just want to have some good stops in place to protect you because um, holding it from 200 to 50 that would be quite the move so that's just my thoughts i would be looking for a move like this to come in before getting into a bullish position perhaps a pullback that next leg up could be quite strong getting us above this major high the short-term major high here in the 90s and then uh hey we could be off to the races up into hundred dollars plus getting above this high and then so on so it looks like we're going to be meeting up with the 200 day here at some point in the months ahead unless we get a big rally to the upside this 200 day will start to catch up to the price so that is my thoughts on moon river um that's pretty much what i see here i mean i'm not going to draw any fibs on the chart 
um, but you could you could sure do so. I mean, you could take this wick up here, but you're probably better off taking something in this level where we had some decent trading range. And um, yeah, see what they say. So I wanted to mention that we have over on Patreon, we have a new group, $9.99 a month. I thought that was a good price. Most people could afford that. So we have, it's called the Mastermind Trading Group. So if you trade stocks and crypto, then this tier is for you. If you want to spark new trading and investment ideas, then this tier is for you. So what you can expect is an assortment of crypto and stocks to be talked about in video format on a weekly basis. So we encourage you to request your favorite cryptos or stocks that will be mentioned in videos and posted to this tier. So if you are looking for new areas to put some money to work or just want a second opinion on a crypto you own, then consider joining the community in this mastermind trading group. So for example, in this group, let's say someone requests an opinion on AMC stock. A video will be made, posted to this tier, and I will share my thoughts on the TA of the chart where I think the best place to enter slash exit would be. And also note that not all stocks and crypto would be near a long or short entry at the making of each video. So that is an interesting group. We think it'll be interesting for people to chime in and say, hey, what do you, what's your thoughts on, for this example, Moon River? We'll make a video. I will give you what, where I think the um, best areas, in my opinion, to enter with also protective exit stops. And uh, those will only be available for those in the Mastermind Trading Group. So we have a more in-depth video for Moon River posted on that um, Patreon trading tier so far. And it is similar to this video, but I actually go more in depth on where I would um, have exact entry and protective stops for this example is Moon River. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that out. And those, um, those prices are only available for those in the Patreon trading group. So all this video, although this video was a broad review, uh, we go more in depth on the Patreon Patreon group for $9.99 a month. Not too bad. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can go ahead and check that out. So let's say, for example, you're, you're in that group and you want an opinion on, um, let's call it Apple stock or uh, Twitter, Tesla, whatever it is, you can chime in and we'll go ahead and throw up a video and we'll share where we think the best place to enter that stock. And we do offer exact prices for the Patreon group only. Although we do make these videos here on YouTube, we keep the exact pricing um, private over there on Patreon. So, hey, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check it out. If not, and you enjoy these videos, then uh, that's great as well. So, all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up here for Moon River. All links, as always, down in the video description. Check them out. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts on move on moon river uh crypto markets and uh if you have any other ideas go ahead and feel free to share them i will check out the charts and see what we can come up with and uh if you like if you are interested in a project and you want more in-depth detail for pricing then uh go ahead and check us out on that mastermind patreon trading group and that is where we will take a deeper dive into stocks and cryptos. And uh, maybe we'll talk about some other general market stuff in that group as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the next one.